the art of fasting. I'm gonna give you two cycles, one from the Bible and one from the internet. I'll start with the Bible. The Bible always says to not worry about what you eat or even the clothing you wear, but understand that it's like when you intermittent fast throughout the day. You will like, like from my experience as reading the Bible, you, I've done it for three days max and it completely changes your life. The, the pros of it was like, my mind was clean. My body felt really, really good. I wasn't as strong during the gym, obviously, because there was a low energy. I was really, really tired by 10 p.m. Um, but it, it helped me a lot more to uh, meditate with myself um, and become more cognitive in such a distressed environment, like more, more eased, more, more calm, more spiritual. All my nerve cells were like getting lower and lower. So nothing, nothing caused me to have any stress. And there's a lot more parables that I could read out. Um, but it, it helped me humble myself a lot. And it kept me like so, so calm in the mind, in the spirit, in the soul, in the body. Everything was calm. And it felt like you were on another level. Here is the, what the internet says. And it's basically the same. It's not no different. It all depends on your body type. But genuinely speaking, if you eat a lot and you're and you're over you know 250, 250 pounds or 300 pounds, then that probably wouldn't work for you. It'd be better to actually get that that plan, that meal plan, and that workout plan that you can stay in order with until you lose a specific amount of weight, where then you can fast for your weight loss. The, the cons were honestly fatigue and nausea, and that that is exactly how I felt after about one day but it put you in such a good state of mind. Listen to meditation music and it changes your ways. And then the pros. So first was weight loss. Weight loss, it definitely decreased your weight in a matter of two days. I lost seven pounds. Health benefits, it lowers chronic disease. Recycles old parts of the, the cells, of the sugar cells inside your body, as I said, as reading the Bible. And it stimulates your mind. It really stimulates your mind and like those psychological effects that you have on your own, on your own self. Cause it's very easy to fall into the negative state of mind. I just wanted to say that it's really simple for you to fall into this negative state of mind because you are constantly eating these foods that were man-made. Like you can biohack your own body just on the actual foods you eat. And fasting, can really benefit that. It's like it completely changes your, your negative state of mind and it takes it away because you're so, you're genuinely focused on, on like you not eating. And that like, and, and most of the time when you're, when you're busy with yourself, you're like, wow, I, I'm not focusing more on this positive side of life. And it takes away all those negative aspects, those, those little things that are, that are, that are, you know, taking you away from your present moment. And then, you know, as I said, it controls your nerve cells. So your stress decreases everything around you that's causing you problems. You find solutions very, very fast because the, the body and the soul and the mind are so calm and so on point that you're able to figure out a situation in less than, less than like 10 seconds. And remember this quote inside the Bible that healthy people do not need a doctor only sick people do so people that are sick in the mind are the ones that only need doctors people that don't be conscientious of what they're eating are the ones that need the doctors because it's like what did god make he made animals he made vegetables and that's it what what and fruits and what what else did he like that was god that build that, that was born on this earth if you're eating if you're eating mcdonald's harvey's all these fast food restaurants you're going out having breakfast right in the morning 9 a.m when you shouldn't even be because that's the part of fasting you wait till at least three to four where you can actually eat and feel better about yourself one meal a day is probably the best thing you can have the more you eat these 
man-made foods, the more you're going to lose your awareness and you're going to lose your spiritual side of yourself because you're eating all of these disgusting foods that aren't good for your brain. All these fast food restaurants, these man-made things, these human being man-made things are not going to get you anywhere. They're going to take away your spiritual side of yourself and also probably your mental side. And you're going to feel that insecurity come inside your body because you're not going to be able to feel good after you eat those specific foods. It's all, it's all a cycle. As long as you're, you know, understanding that healthy people don't need a doctor when they're providing, when God's provided us with foods, animals, you know, it's like way back when even people like caveman, they had, they had just steak and, and then they had started eating vegetables and fruits, the natural sugars. I'm going to be adding this to my link tree um, as well. If you guys want to be able to join our community discord, it's, it's, it's one of a kind. It's definitely going to help many people. If you're, you know, if you're on self-improvement, then go ahead and join us.